Uh, looks like we're a little past our time. So, good morning and welcome to Long Thursday morning coffee break. I want to thank everyone for taking time out of their busy schedule to join us today. My name is Ryan Nabalski. I'm a sales engineer in Colorado Springs. Um, today's topic is sleek and sexy lower coil. Uh, with us today is Brian Fugate with Dyke and Applied to help walk us through this dynamic product line. Welcome, Brian, and thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Ryan. As Ryan mentioned, my name is Brian Fugate, and I'm a fan coil applications engineer for Daikin and the Applied Terminal Systems Group. I've been with Daikin for a little over three years now. Thank you again for, all, for taking some time out of your day uh, to hear about Daikin's Precise Line Air Handler. We have and are continuing to be very excited about this product, and I look forward to telling you about many of the benefits and features that will help you as you specify equipment going forward. I'll give a brief introduction of the product, an overview of the sizes and configurations, and lastly, discuss the numerous benefits of the product. Here's an overview of our nominal sizing. We currently offer units from 600 CFM up to 5,000 CFM. As some may notice, we recently updated our precise line nomenclature from blower coil to air handler. It's still a blower coil in every shape and form, but since we certify the AHRI 430 performance ratings for central station air handlers, we wanted to be sure to capture that as well. We have both vertical and horizontal draw through configurations available. On the left here is our size six to 20 horizontal configuration. Piping coming out of the rear is standard. All sizes from six to 20 are only 19 inches high with the cross brace. The cabinet itself is 18 inches. This narrow height allows the unit to fit in ceilings for larger capacity applications where traditional fan coils might not work. Sizes 30, 40, and 50 are no taller than 33 inches and piping is always accessible from either side. There are a variety of filter access options and units can fit through a standard door. Right, these units definitely have a sleek, sleeker look to them. Um, and I can see how these would be a perfect fit when, you know, ceiling space is at a premium. Yep, like I said, you know, um, in these large capacity applications, there's usually enough ceiling space to still get one of these in where a fan coil might not have enough enough juice to, to get the capacity that they need. The vertical configuration fits through a standard door as well. The BC80 or apartment design is only 18 inches deep and will fit in a closet. Discharge plenum is available on all sizes and mixing box is available on the larger units. Coil access on the BC80 is from the front. Piping can be determined in the field with field piping access holes available on both sides and back of the cabinet. Coil access is to either side on the larger units. With a brief overview of the unit sizing and configurations complete, let's look at all the benefits of selecting a precise line air handler. Well, Brian, with that BCAD unit, it's got a slim profile um, and easy access. What other benefits could you see using this when designing space and apartment? Yeah, so as you, as you mentioned, this, this sleek, slim profile, you know, you can fit in a cabinet th th without any side access. You know, everything is accessed from the front. Um, this would be good in a place where there's maybe a building or say in a, a unit in an apartment with a lot of ductwork where a traditional V-stack might not um, have the static pressure capability. Um, that's, where, that's where something like this would shine or like in a utility closet and like I said, everything is from the front, easy to get to, um, and there's no worry about, you know, walling it on each side. Provide plenty of air to the space. Absolutely, yep. When Daikin released Precise Line, they also released a unit with best-in-class panel design and construction. The patented foam-injected double wall construction allows the unit to be structurally sound and rigid. The panels are cured in a press and are UL 1995 compliant. The smooth interior panel construction promotes ease of cleaning, less dirt and microbial growth, and optimal indoor air quality as compared to a one-inch single wall panel with fiber insulation on the backside. Looking at that picture and you know description of the casing, I see why Daikin 
doesn't refer to these as slower growth and really for a, an air handling unit. I mean, that construction is very tough. Yeah. Yep. So, um, you know, it still performs exceedingly well in the large capacity blower coil market. Um, but since we do test to an air handler requirement through HRI, you know, this can, can be used in space sensitive commercial air handler applications as well. So we don't want to, we didn't want to sell ourselves short and just say this is a blower coil since it's more than that. Makes sense. The panel construction also allows the unit to be thermally broke. Here's a thermal image of a precise line unit compared to a destiny unit on the right side. We are in the process of replacing our, all our destiny offerings. Um, our destiny product also has one inch double wall construction, but the precise line panel construction is superior at keeping the conditioned air in. This will help eliminate panel sweat and make the system more efficient overall. Yeah, you know, that picture is pretty impressive to see, you know, how effective it is at you know delivering DPU down the ductwork instead of to the enclosed space around. Yeah, efficiency is the name of the game, right? Yep. We also offer a variety of heating and cooling solutions. Everything from eight row hydronic cooling coils on unit sizes 30, 40, and 50 in both horizontal and vertical configurations to low flow circuiting hydronic coils for higher entering water temps, three row VRV cooling coils on horizontal and DX cooling coils with three or six rows of cooling. One thing to note on VRV right now, um, currently they're only sized for comfort cooling um, and the EXV kits and controls are sold separately through Dyke in North America. Hydronic preheat or reheat coils are available with either one or two rows of heating and either 12 or 16 fins per inch. In two pipe units, electric heat is available in sizes ranging from a half kilowatt to 39 kilowatts with either single stage or SCR control. The electric heat section consi consists of the mounting rack, electric elements, contactor, the optional SCR module, and the manual and automatic resets that you know give us this, the safety that we need when, when electric heat is involved. Um, the electric heat is also wired and interlocked to the fan. Um, we also have steam coils available uh, on both horizontal and vertical, and those are available for preheat configurations. Factory and self valve packages are also available on both horizontal and vertical configurations from sizes six to 20. The internal valve package sits over a full-size insulated double sloped ASHRAE 62.1 compliant stainless steel drain pan. Our valve packages are extremely configurable. They're available in on-off and proportional modulating control, two-way or three-way. Um, and isolation valves can be equipped with or without circuit setters and strainers. Control valves are manufactured by Belimo and the isolation valves, circuit setters and strainers are all made by Nexus. By providing a factory install valve package, it provides a seamless installation once the unit is in the field. It really seems like Daikin's taking the time. Yeah, yeah second time we're on. All yeah. the uh, oh, no, yeah. coil and your coil option. Yep, and the nice thing is, you know, you order a valve package, you know, you don't have to monkey with some guy in the field, you know raising a bunch of parts together and checking to make sure it leaks. These are all leak tested before they are attached to the coil. Once they're attached to the coil, they're leak tested again. So, you know, with the threaded connections, um, you know, you, you hook up your field piping and, and you're good to go. These are better. All units offer direct drive forward, forward curve fans, which allows us the ability to remove the belt and use modulating speed control. Size of six through 20 utilize single phase EC motors, including an option at 460 volts for buildings that have three phase wire where the larger size blower coils might not be needed. They have two control options, either zero to 10 volt proportional modulating control or field adjustable three speed. With the field adjustable three speed option, you have the ability to use a, a more traditional, less expensive uh, fan coil thermostat. Sizes 30, 40, and 50 have three phase EMA premium efficiency ODP motors made it to factory mounted VFDs. They come from the factory configured for zero to 10 volt control. Um, 
Fan efficiency on these units exceeds uh, requirements, future requirements by DOE and CARB on all motor configurations. And they all allow for three inches of total static and up to one and a half inches of external static. All units are single point power. They have fuse not or non-fuse disconnect options, and all the low voltage connections are wire, wired and easily accessible from the side of the unit, or in the case of the AVD, up in the front. Within the controls area, there's a 24 volt AC transformer and terminal blocks for connections to fan motor control, sensor control safety switches, valve actuators, and the damper control if applicable. The VFD is also accessible in this area. This gives those wiring in the field a central easy to access location where the unit. There's also room in this area for a field installed digital controller as well. So Brian, quickly, what kind of, what's the difference between the controls we have on the size line compared to the earlier version of the Destiny? Yep, so as I mentioned, you know, um, all the, the condensate overflow switches, the valve packages that we allow on the, on the smaller sizes, um, free stats, um, the damper control, all of that is wired and ready to rock. Um, whereas with Destiny, you're going to have to field install all that or order it as a special, which costs money, takes time. So. Awesome. Plug and play. Yep. As mentioned earlier, when I introduced the units and sizing, I mentioned the mixing box is available as well. The mixing box has the same construction as the cabinet. Um, the damper can be controlled either by a manual. It can be a manual fixed position damper, or it can have an actuator with either an on off or zero to 10 volt control. The dampers are also linked to maintain proper air mixing between outside and return air. The duct, the duct collar is flush with the cabinet when shipped and can be easily can be easily bent in the field by the installer, reducing time and labor when installing ductwork. The filter is removable at the bottom or the side, and depending on the configuration selected, that will determine the orient orientation in the cabinet there. We also, as mentioned earlier, offer a discharge plenum. Um, again, it's the same construction as the cabinet. We wanted to maintain that from front to back. Uh, both the mixing box and the plenum should connect from the factory, but can be removed in the field for unit installation and reattach, say going through a narrow doorway, elevator, et cetera. Vertical units only have top discharge available, but horizontal can have a variety of different openings selected. Um, since these are drop through units, discharge plenums can be important. They will help cut down the sound. Um, and we also offer a industry leading sound attenuation package on these, which would line the, the mix, or sorry, the discharge plenum with one inch closed cell foam, which would further lower sound, sound power levels. Yeah, you know, I've definitely been seeing more and more stringent requirements with regard to sound um, in my day to day, especially in schools right now. So. Right. As mentioned earlier, we can provide a variety of filter access options. What's shown here is just a small snippet of the different options, top, bottom, side. You know, we've got a lot of different options available for basically any space. Um, all filter access is toolless with an easily removable sliding plate. And if you pick a mixing box, the doors on there have quarter turn handles for easy access. We offer two inch and two inch MERV 4, 8 or 13 filters and four inch MERV 8 and 13 filters. And all of these options are available with the mixing box. Lastly, I wanted to touch real quick on the ease of maintenance for precise line units with regards to the coil assembly and the fan deck. These assemblies slide on rails in the cabinets, it can be easily slid out the front or the side of the unit, depending on the unit configuration. This allows the unit, the unit to remain in place when coils need to be cleaned or something needs to be serviced internally. Piping packages always have threaded, threaded unions to disconnect, so the rest of the coil can come out and the piping for the, the valve package can stay in place. Once again, thank you for listening to see and hear what Daikin has to offer with our Precise Line Air Handler. Between the variety of unit configurations and sizes and the plethora of benefits, including the industry leading cabinet design, factory installed valve packages, coil and filter options, small footprint, digital ready controls, motor selection, and ease of maintenance. We think you'll be able to fit this into your designs moving forward. Have a great day. Thank you, Brian. It definitely looks like Daikin has put a tremendous amount of thought and effort into 
the design of this um, precise line um, foil. So I really appreciate all your help today. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to attend our weekly coffee break. Uh, for any additional questions on today's product, the precise line air handling unit, please reach out to your sales engineer at Long. Um, join us next week with Mike Jacobs discussing Fan Sizer 2.0 with Tim Berry. Um, once again, I want to thank everybody for their time today and hope you have a great day. Thank you.